Hello, everyone. This is Hoda Gangji. I'm a professor at the George Brown College School of Architectural Studies, and today I'm going to tell you what is ARC 3015 about. So, ARC 3015, or Concentrations in Digital Technologies, is a new course developed and presented for the first time in fall 2020 to the third year students in the Architectural Technology and Interior Design Technology programs. Together, ARC 3015 and ARC 3016 provide the students with training on advanced digital design tools, uh, which is going to be helpful for all the phases of a design project from conception design visualization all the way to the fabrication. Uh, we talk about both software and hardware required and we also talk about uh, digital fabrication methods. In this course we learned some ideas from the book Form Plus Code in Design, Art and Architecture written by Casey Reeves and Chandler McWilliams. We learned about how repeat, transform, parameterize, visualize, and simulate help us to create more complicated patterns and geometries. We learn about the algorithm behind the patterns, how they are created, what are the steps to create them. In the first half of the semester, we learn more about parametric design using Dynamo Revit. We design both 2D and 3D patterns on horizontal and vertical surfaces using randomization, attractor point, attractor line, and so on. This is going to help us to create interior design uh, and to design facades and different floor patterns. We explore different case studies to see how parametric design is being used in real projects. We further practice these skills uh, to design a floor, to design wall and ceilings in projects one and two. Project two has two alternatives. One of them is about the interior design of an exhibition space. And the second alternative is about the facade design. Uh, these are some of the students' projects. In the second half of the semester, we also talk about digital fabrication methods, including CNC routing machine, 3D printers, and laser cutting machines. And uh, we talk about different software, how they connect uh, to the hardware and the material, which can be used in different approaches. In order to practice prototyping, on the second half of the semester, we work on a parametric product design. The students are asked to design eight different prototypes using Dynamo in Revit, and they are also asked to provide a method for fabrication. You can see some samples of Project 3 aligned with the prototypes. Uh, we also talk about tessellation and surface design. We study some of the existing patterns such as Delaunay and Voronoi patterns. In addition, we create some customized tessellation uh, using modular surface design. Uh, we talk about the interactions between Dynamo and Revit, how we can import from one to the other one, and how we can work on geometries which are created partly in Dynamo and partly in Revit. 
Uh, in the last project, the students are asked to select a project and uh, to recreate it in Dynamo. And this is a little bit harder because they should put themselves in someone else's shoes and think about their thought process and recreate the same process in their own project. Uh, we further talk about Revit, Dynamo, and Excel interactions. Uh, actually, Dynamo is a good tool to mediate between Revit and Excel. We learn how to import data from Dynamo to Excel, and from Excel to Dynamo, and eventually to Revit. Uh, this is very helpful if you're going to do some cost analysis, uh, if you want to export your file for further analysis uh, to Excel. We also talk about customization of nodes and how we can use Python to write our own scripts in Dynamo. So this part is just more uh, additional information for students who want to pursue writing their own codes in Dynamo in Revit. Uh, I would like to thank all the students whose projects were featured in this video, uh, as well as Dr. Ian McNabb, uh, Pietro Ferrari, and V. Sarobi. Uh, please feel free to send me your questions uh, to hoda.ganji at sanjorgebrown.ca.